presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, come and tell you, we're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom, it's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So, well, we uh, appreciate your ground one problem with us. Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, I've done gold reports and all the softwares and all your books and read it. Generational thank you. you are, seminars, thank so you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make New agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement and create a new one. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Negative wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 49. NASDAQ is off 230. S&P is off 32. Gold. Gold contract up $10.70, trading at 1668 an ounce. We have silver up 12 cents, $19.47 an ounce. Light Street crude up 268. $88, one penny a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, up 13 ticks, trading 110.31. The 30-year up a full point, plus eight ticks at 121.10 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 1,200 ticks, 109.750. The euro is par, one to one. The yen is 146.29, and the British pound is at 116 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we got volatility in spades. No doubt about that. Take a look at the SPY first. What do you have out here? SPY. SPY. We take a look at this. the SPY. What do you have with the SPY right now? SPY's down 320. You have uh, 71 million shares. Yesterday, you did uh, 78, and you're coming into... 106. The cool thing is, folks, you can have a higher price and you can have higher volume. That still says we go higher. That's in the spy. Well, if we go, let's go into the futures now because this has been a really wild day, meaning you had the futures down, come all the way back up, and come all the way back down. And bottom line is that what you're going to see here, you know, bottom line, we hit, uh, let's see, on this bar. We're nine minutes into the buy, still don't have enough volume. Bottom line is that what you have out here, you get 32,000 contracts. Well, you go, you're going into 100,000 contracts. So bottom line, my take is that we're still going to try to run back topside as we're getting into this close, which is really deviant. But guess what? That move this morning was about as deviant as you can get, which is a beautiful thing. You got to pay attention to the dollar, man. The dollar is running the, 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 the whole ball of wax. We go to the NQs. We take a look at the NQs. This buy here has... Uh, 11,000 contracts while you're going into 44,000. And even the swing point that's there is 10,000. So, you know, that took that, but guess what? It's the big number you're going into. So we'll see where the whole baby's gonna shake out, but my take is that you're not gonna close at the lows. We go take a look at the currencies. Okay, we get into the dollar, we take a look at the dollar. Bottom line, you can see this is a decisive break, man. You know, you broke with conviction. Uh, what we also just did, which is really cool, you already broke the swing. You know, bottom line, the swing, the swing had support, the swing strong, 110.065. You're at 109.723. What that sets up, you'll probably first, this should get a little support at 109.295. Uh, so that's like 500 ticks from where we are. And then, guess what? Game here is all the way down to this 104.636. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at gold. Gold contract rejected um, 16.53 this morning. We have uh, 178,000 contracts. It's not great. Really, I'm looking for over 200,000 contracts. It's not bad. It's not great. You know, yesterday we did, let's see, this is a spike. 
The spike has 171. So at least we're taking the last little swing point out from Monday with volume, which is which is good. That's that's the bottom line. And then if we go into notes and bonds, notes and bonds, folks, these are counter trend moves. Uh, bottom line, we take a look at this, and you're going to see the contraction of volume. But I expect you're going to go up for a bit. You know, you can you can see this is a 10 year, the 10 year right now. You got 1.4 million contracts. You know, you're coming into 2.7, but I suspect it's going to bounce for a bit. I mean, that's how that's how these markets are set up right now. Meaning, um, you know, dollar pulling back, th these things, they look to me like they continue to still want higher price. We go to the Dow. Well, here, let's just do the small caps because there's the small caps, the IWM, and the, uh, oh, no, I'm going to go here. Watch this. You got to go to the, to the composite because this, this is not a tricky one, but the NASDAQ composite, folks, isn't a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. And what it is is this. So check this out. It might turn into a complex one. We'll see. The B point here is 10,972. And we're right at it. Okay. So this is what we did. So you take the B point, which is the 18th um, of October, and then we take yesterday. Okay. So the bottom line, that's the 25th. So, <coughs> excuse me, folks. You're going to see this. 18th versus the 25th. Yesterday, we did 5.1 billion. 18th, 5 billion. That's an ABC structure up. Deviant, oh man, it's deviant. You're gonna love it, man. Deviant markets are so where it's at because what happens, folks, when you are running fast markets, bottom line, you know, these FIB numbers, price and volume seems to work a lot better. That's the real bottom line. We go to the GDX, we take a look at the GDX. What do you have inside the GDX out here this morning? This afternoon, rather. Still needs more volume. We're getting closer to the swing. The swing's 2611, you're at 2503. Um, you know, I want to see more volume. Yesterday was nice. Yesterday was 28 million, but the bottom line is that we're only at uh, 17 million now. And if you want to see uh, bottom line, how, you know, we've, show, we've shown this before, when you want to get breaks topside or downtown, the bottom line is that when you're pushing a swing with volume, most of the time you're going to take it out. Look at this yesterday. Yesterday, 4.3 million shares. It was going into 3.6, and, you know, Archer Daniels, they blew out today. Now, the bottom line, that, that's, that's going to be an ABC structure up. That's how this is shaking out because of the, let me just make sure of this, but I don't believe that was even a 50. Yeah, it was a 50% retracement. So the bottom line is you get um, Archer Daniels Midland, you get an ABC structure on the way up. And that's where this baby wants to go. So. Some of the higher volume, well, here, let's go look at Microsoft, because Microsoft and Google, they basically, you know, took everything south, bottom line. Microsoft right now, 67 million shares traded. You're going into uh, 42. Now, this well, Microsoft, this is, so check this out. If you can't take that swing point out down below, Microsoft's going to go higher. 219. 219 is the number. You know, you come down, bottom line is that, yeah, you come down with volume, but I've learned that if you can't take a swing point out when you get close to it, guess what? You're going to go to a higher price. We take a look at Google. Google, Google came down. That's coming down to the swing. So the swing on Google, 95.27. Oh, we took it out. That's, that's trouble for Google. That's a different ballgame. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Teddy Kegstad has just announced a live webinar coming up for subscribers to his newsletter, The Tiger Forex Report. Wednesday, October 26th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy will be hosting a live 60-minute webinar, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report Newsletter. In this 60-minute webinar, Teddy will be discussing a full breakdown of the markets that influence currency pairs, as well as applying those variables to individual currency pairs, how to evaluate trading scenarios, for risk versus reward, as well as a live question and answer session. Sign up now and gain instant access to this live webinar coming up, as well as a month subscription to Teddy's Tiger Forex Report, which comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this live webinar event with Teddy Kegstat, Wednesday, October 26th. Sign up now for the Tiger Forex Report at the front page of TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up 16, NASDAQ down 207, S&Ps are up uh, 25. And, you know, leave it to Musk, man. I mean, it, it's it, he. OK, so what this is about, this is about Twitter, folks. OK, uh, he's going to close the deal on Twitter Friday. But what he just did, OK, you know, it, 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 he's. Yeah. Anyway, let me explain what he just did. The bottom line, he just walked into the San Francisco headquarters and guess what he was doing, folks? He was carrying a kitchen sink. Yeah. Meaning, OK, he's going to clean house in a monster way. Um, you know, the, the, I suspect, well, there's stories out there that he's actually going to can three quarters of the staff. He probably will, you know. So we'll see where that whole thing shakes out. But uh, if you haven't seen the picture, uh, let me get it for you. One second. There you go. There it is. Carrying the sink, walking into uh, Twitter. So a lot of people Friday are going to lose their job. What you'll see on Friday, you know, bottom line, what will happen more than likely is that TWTR, Twitter will trade until 4 o'clock. I believe they're setting it up that the close is going to be at 5 o'clock. Lock, stock, and barrel. It, it'll take them, it takes hours to close something like this. But the bottom line is that we, you will not be trading Twitter on, um, on Monday. And so you can expect uh, that uh, the, the, the bottom line is that you can expect a lot of action uh, ov over the weekend, meaning uh, because, where is he again? Let me just look at this for a second. Yeah, I mean, because you just, everything's wide open now. We'll see what the rules are going to be under uh, Elon Musk. You know? So. 877-927-6648. We go take a look at the, uh, let's go take a look at the Exxon Mobil, some of the oils. You got, you, you got the uh, oil itself popped. Yeah, see, this is still having a hard time, man. It's interesting. Yeah, you, you're over the swing. The swing is 105.57, but you can see you're dying off on volume up here, man. That should have been higher. Let's go to the oil contract and take a look at the oil contract itself. CL. So we're up 279. 267,000 contracts. That's not bad contract volume. Um, that'll probably go to the swing. It's taken out a swing of 338. Yeah, but it's taken out with conviction. But they'll probably go up to that swing. The swing there is. Uh, 93.38. Some of the higher volume equities out here, 
and we'll see whether we uh, get volume, but I suspect we'll go on it today. Uh, you have uh, Tesla's up uh, $3, three dollars. you get uh, Google down 9 uh, Advanced Micro's off a buck sixty. Microsoft's the big number, down seventeen. Amazon's off four. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with Amazon. Uh, they come out tomorrow. Nvidia's down three. You got uh, Facebook down seven and a half. Uh, Mobileye, they just can become public. Uh, that's up eight dollars. So they're cleaning up on that. Boeing's down thirteen. Boeing. I want to go to Boeing. Let's see what's going on with Boeing here, man. So Boeing. This has been a lost child. Oh my God, look at this get taken to the cleaners. Look at this. What did that do it at? Did it at just over 50% retracement. Go south. Let's see what this is looking like. Wow. <laughs> yeah, the uh, bottom line is that they, the, ca cash flow wise, Boeing came in and they were all suspected to only have a billion in, in free cash flow and the bottom line is that they had three billion but guess what didn't do a thing for them that's the, that's the bottom line not one thing we go over and take a look at uh, let's go well, let's go to Amazon because uh, Amazon's going to be coming out with numbers we know in both cases and um, uh, so Amazon's pulling back with light volume yeah it's going to be interesting to see what happens tomorrow so 113.44 is your benchmark. You got the 114.76 today. It rejected it. We'll see how it shakes out, man. We'll see, let me see what kind of growth the Amazon's looking for here. Amazon is looking for top line 127, 127.6 billion, point six, bottom line 22 cents. So it's intriguing. They, they're, they're looking to basically take in, um, where are they going to be losing money? It's only 14. That doesn't make sense. They're saying they make 11. Something, something's whopped here. So if you're watching my screen, look at this. This is interesting. I got to find out what this is. So see that on 2022, it's saying they're only going to make 11 cents, but yet they already made 21 and 10. And they, there's no minuses in here. So something's going on. Anyway, uh, bottom line, they, they're looking to grow by another, uh, you know, 5 billion. Uh, 7, 4, 8, 6, they're still growing by 8%. And per year in the United States, uh, internationally, and their AWS is growing by 11%. Uh, you know. So we'll see how those numbers come in. And of course, what it ends up happening, so Microsoft, uh, bottom line, they were saying flat out that they had currency conversions that were hitting them. On uh, Google, uh, it had to do with the aspect of uh, less ads on YouTube. Uh, still, when you take it, actually look at it, like Microsoft came in with $50.1 billion, and they brought $2.35 to the bottom line. Google came in with $57 billion, and I see, that's interesting, why are they doing it that way? I'm not showing what the bottom line was here. Yeah, let's go over to Apple. So when's Apple coming out? Apple, Apple's the 27th. So what is it? So today's the 20, oh, tomorrow. Oh, this is gonna be so interesting. Okay, so thanks, Stuffy. So Apple also is coming out tomorrow. So oh, this is a trip, man, okay. So Apple right now, well, it's down three bucks. Not the end of the world. Let me pull this back and put this on a weekly. Okay, yeah, it's going high with lighter volume. So, I mean, I don't see, well, you get that high volume low at 137 still, so that can be a problem. Okay, so let's go to Peloton. We take a look at Peloton. The low is 666. The high is 99. That's for just the last 12 months. Peloton, they're looking um, to take in 640 million, and they're still going to lose money as far as you, the eye can see. That's what they're telling you. That's the bottom line. 
And okay, let's pull this back. See what we're into. Yeah, this is always a, this is a tough one because you don't. I, you have uh, technically what happens, folks, when something falls apart this bad, you don't have anything to push it against. You know, like yeah, you can turn around and say, okay, when I was at 14, you had some volume, but you know, like I've explained that. When you cannot take out a swing point, I've seen this before. I've seen volume come in, but if you can't take a swing point out, that's a problem. It's, it's a problem. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up 12. The Nasdaq's down to 11. S&Ps are off 26. And, folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, now this afternoon at 4 o'clock, right, I'm in Teddy Cakes. That's going to be an out doing an outstanding one-hour webinar for his subscribers. Now, it's very easy to be a subscriber, folks, okay? Bottom line, come over to our website. You're going to see it right under Featured Content, the Tiger Forex Report. You hit subscribe. It's only $97 a month. And what you're going to get there is this. You're not, you're not only going to get a great newsletter and you really get to understand how currencies move, but you're also going to get this workshop. Now, we all, our newsletters, folks, come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So the bottom line, this is going to start at 4 o'clock, go to 5 o'clock, come over, sign up, get in the workshop, get the newsletter if it works for you great if for some reason it doesn't work for you you cancel it the 28th day and guess what you have your money back you still had a good newsletter and you get some education the the currency deal folks okay is not only uh, very important right now 
it's always going to be important. You know, currencies are moving markets now. That's the bottom line. And if we go, uh, you'll see the, uh, we go to the yen for a second, what you're going to see out here, you know, what, what has happened, all these other currencies that have been going down, uh, bottom line are going up. And when the yen goes down, it goes up, gets stronger. That's how it works, okay? The bottom line, the high of the yen was 151 to 1 U.S. dollar. Now it's 146. We get over to the euro. We know the euro, you know, got down, I think it got down to 97. Right now we are at, uh, look at that, well, my God, it went to 95, actually. So look at that. So we're pa. And, you know, that's, this is, the, the, it's just, as the dollar wants to go to this 104, the, the pound wants to go to 107, you know? So if you're going to the Amalfi Coast, you're going to Europe, I think that's a good trade, man. <laughs> I, I really do. Um, the pound, let's go to the pound. I mean, the pound also is basically moving higher against the U.S. dollar. You know, the, the pound right now, the low of the pound, look at this, the low of the pound was 103 and you're at 116. How's that? And this here, let me see what this did now. Oh, this wouldn't break the trend yet. One, two, three. This trend is way up here. So the trend here to get higher, but the trend line is one, 118. That's that one. Now watch if I do this one, though. This one here. Yeah. That's almost a classic. It looks to me like yeah, the pound is making a run for 122 anyway. Right now you're at 116. And hey, if you're going, if you're going on a vacation over there, man, buy two, three, two thousand, five thousand, 5,000, buy something, man. You know, because the bottom line is that that's, that's the type of cool trade that if you're going somewhere, you're just going to save money. You know, and most of the time when we're in trades, okay, it's, you know, you're in, you're out, you know, you're either going to win or lose. When you have a trade like that, that you're meaning you're, you're going, you're going to use the currency, it's a whole different animal. And if you're right on the context that, you know, the dollar just topped out and the dollar is going to pull back, um, <laughs> you really could be right. Let me say this. I want to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this dollar up. We're going to tip this up. I want to see this on a monthly and see because in a monthly sometimes yeah look at this on a month see on a monthly it doesn't do a thing a monthly it's like a little blurp so now let's go to a weekly for a three year I, that was a monthly 15 year i just put up yeah same thing same thing on a weekly it doesn't look like much what you do have is you get a parabola a parabol a parabolic move you know when we take a look at this the dollar look at look at this man the dollar started off at 89 in June of 2021. So, well, here, yeah, let's do this, watch this. We were talking about this on, with the markets in January about what just a 0.382 would be. So here, check this out. A 0.3, oh, this is cool, man. So a 0.382 retracement alone is the 105. We know 104. Uh, 600 wise is basically, you know, the lowest swing. So I suspect, guess what? The 104 to 105, that's kind of, that's game in the marketplace. That's, that's the way, uh, you know, you basically, you can put the, um, the fib together with the break. We go to HG, we go to the copper market. Copper is moving out here today. You got it up, look at that, 14 cents. Oh my God, that's a monster move. So we have... 95,000 contracts traded. It's good contract volume, man. Yep. Last swing point had uh, 67,000. You're at 95,000. That's, that's pushing with volume. You break there and then would be up at the price point of uh, 378. You know it's moving out here too, folks. Platinum. Platinum, you know, we bring platinum up. When you're going to see platinum just overtook it's swing with, with volume. You get uh, 22,000 contracts, which in platinum, that's pretty good contract volume. A lot, of the, a lot of people don't trade platinum. So you're coming into 27,000 at 941, you're at 958, it's over it. This is making its way to the 975, and more than likely you're going to see this break in 1,000 once again. Freeport Mac Moran, FCX, this is a powerful stock, man. You know, um, yeah, this is. This should, let's see, it's consolidation 33, 
Okay, so 3389 is your benchmark. You take out 3389 and you're really going to be in good shape, man. Um, I had a huge sign of strength last Friday. Let's go to SCCO. The SCCO is the largest copper uh, company in the world. So this is up a buck ninety-four. Swing has one point four million. You do one point seven. Yeah. Oh, here. So here you go. Is it ABC up? One second. Let me make sure of this. You're at forty-nine twenty-nine. Yeah. So your A point on this is forty-two forty-two. Your B it's forty-nine forty-one. So you get seven, which gets you fifty-two seventeen. You're at forty-nine right now. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. These markets are a trip, man. There's no doubt about it. So we'll see, you know, bottom line, what type of follow-through uh, these co commodities can get. That's what it comes down to. If we go, uh, one of the tigers was talking about the Aussie dollar. The Aussie dollar, man, has just got totally smoked. Uh, it's a 64 today. Uh, the Aussie dollar went down, you know, two weeks ago to 61 to one U.S. dollar. Want to see something wild here? Watch this. Put this up. 15 years and what you're going to see see this up here the aussie dollar you know was a dollar 10 to one u.s dollar okay that was in 2011 and went all the way down to 55 cents on the dollar that is about as intense as you can get man that if you're you, if you stay in australia that's one thing but if you are investing anywhere that your currency got cut in half? Can you imagine? I mean, that's, that's it's amazing. It's just unbelievable, man. It really is. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, let's take a look at the strength versus the weakness. We know Microsoft and Google, bottom line, weak. Boeing, oh, Boeing's, uh, yeah, let's do it this way. Boeing's putting, Boeing's the number. Oh, no, Microsoft's the number. There you go. Microsoft's put 118 negative points. Boeing, 85. Salesforce, 35, Apple 22, uh, give, giving it some juice. Visa, Visa positive 58, Amgen 52, 3M 26, United Held 22. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 53, Nasdaq's down 207, S&P's off 22. Yeah, let's go to Meta. And uh, thank you uh, out there for uh, basically reminding me that Meta has uh, uh, earnings out here today. Uh, thanks, Sean. So... We have uh, the lows 122, the highs 353. This is the past year. You're down seven and a half dollars right now. Meta, let's see what they're looking for, man. Let's so. Okay, so they're looking to bring 27.4 billion to the top line, a dollar 89 to the bottom line, and Okay, so this has been one mess. There's no doubt about that. So first, let's go to the monthly and see where we're at. I know we're into the, yeah, it's, look at this, it's below. Yeah, it's below the COVID low. So the COVID low is 137. 123 going into. This is pretty intense, man. So right there, 123 as a half billion, uh, 600 million shares. That was so, this is trouble, man. Okay, so here, check this out. So the 123 level, when you're looking at my screen, folks, okay, the, the volume's down in the left-hand corner. See that volume, 559 billion? Well, look at this. We came down was 635 billion and took out 686. Yeah, this is this is telling me this can go lower, man. Yeah, that's how it's set up. That's how this thing is set up. Yeah, the biggest downdraft was to 190. But bottom line is that that's that's what that's saying. You know, so we'll see where that shakes out. The uh and you know, we'll see of course what that's gonna do to the uh NDX one hundred. The amazing part is that when you had the uh, aspect, you see the Dow's crawling back up again. Uh, what we're going to have out here, you're going to have a higher high price with volume out here today. We take a look at the NYSE. That's 681. What do I get left here? 15, 20 minutes? Yeah, you get 20 minutes. Yeah, that'll be a billion shares. So that'll be a billion in the NYSE. We take a look at the composite. And the composite's going to be over $5 billion, or $5 billion. That's got, What that sets up, man, that bottom line is that that sets up, you got another high that's in there, you get volume, that's behind the high. That's saying that, guess what, this thing's going to crawl back up somehow, some way. And what I expect, uh, it's all going to be about, it's, it's about the US dollar, man. That's the bottom line, you know. But the, the correlation um, has been about as direct as you can get. Uh, and, you know, yeah, I can see what you're saying. Hey, it's not there today. Well, guess what? Um, it's not that bad either. <laughs> That's the other side of it, man. We go to the Dow. Let's take a look at the Dow because I'm curious, like, where, where are these are going to set up on the dailies. So on the daily, man, the Dow's going to be fine on the daily, man. You know, you're going to, uh, here, let's look at this. So that's the next swing point the Dow's going into is the 12th of September. So what we want to do out here, we're going to get into the 12th of September. 
There it is right there. See, this is, man, check this out. See this 12th of September, 877 million? We're gonna, we're gonna be pushing that swing point with a billion shares, man. Yeah, we're going higher. The, so what I just did there, folks, okay, just if I did it too quick, is I, I, you look at the Dow, and you always not want to know, inside timing the trade, you want to know, what are you pushing into? Or down. Either way, it doesn't matter. In this particular case, we are pushing into the swing point that was generated out here on the 12th of September. The bottom of that is the uh, 32,159. We've hit 32,172 today, so that's what we're pushing into. We're pushing into that with volume. So your probability gets a lot higher that, guess what? You know, you're going to break it. Um, now, because we've moved so fast, I can definitely see, well, actually, we'll see what the, the maybe, you know, you could build some cause here because the bar, that's the big bar on the 26th. That's when the, the, the Dow basically uh, went down, uh, what, it got out almost 1,000 points? Yeah. That, that day right there, that's going to take a little cause to get through, but... Markets are deviant, man. I mean, in a monster way. There's no two ways about that. And, you know, you, you're learning it and seeing it. Um, and, you know, if you keep discipline, you, you're going to do fine. XAU. We take a look at the XAU and the HUI. What do we have with the XAU out here? So, this is still going to be about Newmont, too. Come on, give me that volume. Where are you? I don't want that. I want that. Oh, I get nothing? XAU. Well, you know what? Let's go to Newmont because Newmont, Barrick. Oh, Newmont finally got a little thing going. Six million shares. Last swing was 10. That's going to need more volume. We go to Barrick Gold. Sixteen million. That's going to need a lot more volume when it gets gets up to the sixteen forty nine. I suspect it's going to go there, you know, and we'll see whether it can get the juice once it gets up into that level. No, oh, what it did do today though, this is interesting. Is it finally jumped the fifty day moving average. That's so. If you do use moving averages, folks, what you want to see, you want to see them jump it. See how this jumped it today? It's just a small gap, but that is a good indication that you have some strength inside it. Uh, Franco Nevada, FNV, the two streamers. Okay, so Franco Nevada. Oh, this is a good move on Franco Nevada. I like this. Okay, finally. See, this jumped to two. But see that expansion of volume? This is good. Yeah, Franco Nevada. This is a good setup. Okay, that's... Franco Nevada and Royal. Let's go to Royal Gold. Two hundred ninety-six. Four twenty. It's not bad. You can see this jumped to two, though. Let's get look at a couple uh, silver stocks for a couple of the tigers. We got uh, EXK first. This is first majestic. Oh, this is Endeavor. This is Endeavor. That's right. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, okay. Look at this. So, yeah, you're coming into 2.9 and you get 2.5, but it's not bad. This wants to jump it, man. Let me pull this back and put this on a weekly. Yeah, you're inside the range again, man. So, you know, First Majestic, I mean, bottom line, you know, next four, four dollars, 18 cents is game. If we go over to Heckler, you know, Heckler's been an ABC structure up and it's performed. Um, it took out its consolidation today. That top of the consolidation is 486, you're at 487. We went to 505 and it has volume. We've done 7.9. You're going into 6.7. There's action in the, in the metals, folks. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Don't forget about Teddy's uh, workshop, folks, okay? Real easy to get into. Come over to our website. 
at TFNN, right? Under uh, featured content, uh, hit that button and you're off to the races. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 35, Nasdaq's down 215, S&P's off uh, 23. Let's go take a look at these IWMs because they've been strong. And we got a... Yeah, so you got a shooting star out here. Okay, so... You got volume behind it, though. You know, so the question is, is that, you know, is that still strong? Yeah, it is. It's an ABC up. I'd go with the ABC up, man. That's the bottom line. The ABC up. What is it? I forgot. With 77, 62, you got what? Uh, 15, 14. That's 84. Yeah. And what we hit, we hit, well, it's interesting. Hold on. We hit 82. This will have to build cause. So what's going on here? This almost hit his ABC up. You hit 182.37. I ballparked at about 184. So you have to you'll build some cars. But there's not there's nothing wrong with that. It's all it's all cool. Listen, the way that I'm looking at this market right now, as long as this dollar keeps going lower, folks, the market's gonna get go higher. And you know, my take is that yes, it's a counter trend bounce. But the bottom line is that this wants to go higher. And this is about as deviant as you can get. There's no doubt about it, man. That's. But guess what? That's what markets love to do, meaning, you know, just go the, you know, like it's incomprehensible at how Microsoft goes down that far, Google goes down that far, and what, the Dow's still up, the S&P's down 24, Nasdaq's hit, no doubt about that, Knows that Nasdaq's hit. But you can see 
uh, even intraday today, how fast you can actually come back. That says quite a bit, man. That says quite, and what you have happening, bottom line, you have window dressing, man. You know, window dressing is going to come in and come in, you know, I suspect uh, at the end of this week, you know, it comes in and we'll see whether it's window dressing instead of window breaking. You know, don't forget about our man, Mr. Teddy Kegstad, folks. Uh, bottom line, he's going to be doing that workshop in four minutes. You can still get in it. Come over to our website at TFNN, sign up for that newsletter, and you're off to races. And always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.